is secretly educating us as well with math. For 539 episodes over 25 years, The Simpsons has entertained hundreds of millions of people. It's won 28 Emmy Awards, 30 Annie Awards and one Peabody. And just like its sister show Futurama, it's got a habit of slipping sophisticated science and maths jokes into unsuspecting viewers' brains. And you thought pop culture was a waste of time. I love The Simpsons. Um, I, I love mathematics. What more beautiful subject could you want to talk about? Mathematics and pop culture. Oh, Papa Homer, you are so learned. <laughs> learned, son. It's pronounced learned. Simon Sings managed to fill a whole book documenting the hidden maths and science references in The Simpsons and Futurama. The sheer number of mathematical references is so large. And, and the depth of the mathematical ideas, it's not just the quantity, it's the quality. Some are simple throwaway gags. Thermodynamics, hypermathematics, and of course, microcalifragilistics. Okay. Others require a sophisticated understanding of calculus or physics. This perpetual motion machine she made today is a joke. It just keeps going faster and faster. <laughs> In this house, we obey the laws of thermodynamics. Behind the scenes, Simon discovered some of the key writers on both shows have advanced degrees in maths and science. That, for me, is the most beautiful thing, that the, the people behind the most successful TV show in history are actually mathematicians. Lucky for us, they ditched their academic careers to pursue the noble art of comedy. At least they can't sink any lower. Come back, Diaper! Come back! There's a, a line in an episode, Margin Change. I can recite pi to 40,000 places. The last digit is one. And that just seems like a throwaway line. But in researching that line, the writers actually went to a world pi expert at NASA who sent them all 40,000 digits, or the first 40,000 digits of pi. Mm. Pi. There's a number in Futurama that keeps cropping up. It's 1729. It's the smallest number that's the sum of two cubes in two different ways. Let me explain what I mean. 1729 equals 10 cubed plus 9 cubed. And 1729 also equals 12 cubed plus 1 cubed. There will be no further questions. Why? My favorite mathematical reference is Homer cubed. There's a whole mess of equations here. This is P equals NP. And it's worth a million dollars if you can work out whether that equation is true. And up here is the equation that identity. Um, and mathematicians generally consider that to be the most beautiful equation in all of mathematics because it's got so much in it in, in one simple, elegant equation. And there it is in The Simpsons. Right, right behind So next time you settle down for an end of your favourite cartoon, there could just be a lesson in it for you. The quickest way to a girl's bed is through her parents. Have sex with them and you're in. Not that lesson. One of the other ones. The lesson is never try. Tell us why P equals NP is, is such a difficult... I would love to actually conundrum. ask you that, because I think you would like to try. I'd, I'd, I'd love to have the knowledge to do that, but it is a waste of time. Well, Simon, easy in Australia this week and next week's talk.